Hello everyone. Today I will be talking about finding the LMT of lower meridian faces of the star. For this I have picked up one question from MMD past paper. On 30th November 1992, a vessel in India longitude 170 degree 20 minute east observed the 16th meridian altitude of star Canopus below the pole is 13 degree 06 minute. If the index of the section error was 3 minutes on the arc and height of I 12 meter, fine. A. The latitude of observer. B. LMT of lower meridian places of the star. This question came in MMD exam for Sibet phase 1, July 2023. <coughs> so, 16 altitude is already given in the question 13 degree 06 minute and index error there is on if the index error is on it will be minus so 13 degree 6 minute minus 3 minutes we got observe, uh, observe altitude 13 degree 03 minute and dip is given 12 meter and for dip uh, we minus 6.1 minute and after subtracting dip, we got upper altitude as 12 degree 56.4 minute. Now we apply total correction. And this is by referring from the almanac pages. So total correction is 4.1 minute. And after subtracting, we got true altitude as 12 degree 52.8 minute and 90 degree minus true altitude is equal to mzd there is 77 degree 07.2 minute now from anmanek for 30th november 1992 we find out the star canopus and hha there is sidereal hour angle is 264 degree 0 2.4 minutes and declination is 52 degree 41.4 minutes south we know that polar distance is equal to 90 degree minus declination so 90 degree minus declination that is 52 degree 41.4 we got as 37 degree 18.6 so now we draw our resonant horizon diagram and mark east, north, west, south. And we also draw W, Q, E equinoxial. And we also have drawn one declination circle here S and X dash. <coughs> Why I have chosen the South Pole is that since the declination is South, so latitude and declination must be of same name for a circumpolar body. That is why I have taken the South Pole. So latitude of the observer is equal to SP, Sira Papa. From here to here is the latitude of the observer is also equal to ZQ, Juliet Quebec. Latitude of observer is equal to SP, that is Sira Papa, is equal to ZQ, ZQ. PX dash, that is PX dash, PX dash is polar distance plus SX dash, SX dash, Sira X-ray dash. That is polar distance we have calculated here and polar distance is 37 degree 18.6 minute plus 12 degree 52.8 <coughs> that is S X dash is equal to 50 degree 11.4 minutes south. <coughs> Therefore, the observer's latitude is equal to the true altitude of the body at lower meridian passes plus the polar distance of the body that is this is the true altitude 
through attitude of the body at lower meridian basis. If the body is here, it will be the body will be upper meridian basis or above the pole. Body is here, it is lower meridian basis or below the pole. So we have found out the latitude. Now coming to the part B. LMT of lower meridian basis of star. We know that the given body is circumpolar and is below the pole. When the body is circumpolar and below the pole, we know that LSA, that is local hour angle, is equal to 180 degree. LSA star is equal to GSA is plus HSA star plus its longitude. 180 degree is equal to GSA is plus HSA, which we have taken out from the almanac pages, that is 264 degree, 0 2.4 minute, plus 170 degree, that is longitude, 170 degree, 20 minute. From this equation, we find out GSA is going to 180 degree minus, and if we add together 264 degree 2.4 minute plus 170 degree 20 minute, we got below as 434 degree 22.4 minute. And since the uh, below 180 is less, so we add. Uh, before subtracting 180 plus 360 degree minus 434 degree 22.4 that is 540 degree minus 43 434 degree 22.4 we got GSA of it is 105 degree 37.6 minute now we know the GSA of it is 105 degree 37.6 minute so now go to the almanac on 30 november 1992 and look on the left side column for gsa aries uh, for in the gsa column we know that for two hours it is 99 degree 11.9 minutes so if we subtract this from 105 degree 37.6 minutes we got 6 degree 25.7 to find out the minutes and the seconds we proceed to the increment tables of the almanac and on almanac we look for 6 degree 25.7 minutes in the Aries column so this corresponding value is 25 minutes 38 seconds GMT on 30 November 1992 is 02 hours 25 minutes 38 seconds. And now we apply LIT. That is, uh, longitude is 170 degree 20 minutes divided by 15. We got 11 hours 21 minutes 20 seconds. And GMT plus each longitude is going to LMT. That is, if we add together, we go 13 hours, 46 minutes, 58 seconds. So, the final answer is LMT of lower meridian passes of the star is going to on 30th day, 13 hours, 46 minutes, 58 seconds. I hope you have understood this solution. Thank you.